Hello everyone. Welcome to the Trendline Invest channel. A lot of you have been asking me which time frames should I focus on if I am an investor or if I am a positional trader or if I am a swing trader, right? This is one of the most asked questions at least on Twitter on my DMs. Um, which time frame should we be focusing on? Should I focus on hourly, four hourly, and all of that? So today I'm going to answer all of these questions using some simple rationale as to why you should be using those time frames. So let's get started. Um, so first, if you are an investor, what time frame should you be focusing on? So that's the first um, point I have here. Now, if you're an investor, you should focus on weekly charts. Now there is no reason as to why you should not be focusing on weekly charts. Uh, and definitely you should not be focusing on daily charts or hourly charts or four hour. If you're doing that, stop it right away. So why should you be focusing on weekly charts? The first reason is trends on weekly charts are very clear. So the predominant long-term trends, for example, I have a chart of Shraddha Crop Chem here, and you can clearly see that this stock is in a long-term uptrend, right? So it's been going really higher and higher and higher, right? And if you see the uh, pivot highs has been rising, the pivot lows also have been rising. So overall, if you look at a weekly chart, you can clearly see what is the predominant long-term uptrend, right? Or the downtrend. That's very clear on the charts. And that's for a reason. And for that reason, you should be looking at the weekly charts if you're an investor. And as an investor, you're looking at long-term growth or long-term returns, probably three years, five years, so on and so forth, right? So that's why you have to look at um, weekly charts and you have to focus on the long-term trends. And that's visible only on the weekly charts. Now, second thing is, Yes, it's very easy to identify long-term trends. Now, just by looking at this, even if you show this chart to a kid and if you ask, is it going up or down, the kid will clearly say it is going up. Now, if it's that easy, then why break your head and focus on daily charts, right? So just focus on weekly charts. The next thing is, if you are a long-term investor, it's easier to hold on to your stock when a stock is going like this, right? Now, if you're looking at a daily chart, you will have too many candles, too many distractions, and it's going to kind of distract you and probably tempt you to exit your stock early than when you have to actually exit. Now here it's easy to ride. If you have just the weekly chart open, you will know that it's gone up and you know it's going to go come down and you know it's going up, down. Now here you see the trend is clearly up, the pivots are rising and you can literally keep riding this entire move. Now even after this crazy move, you wouldn't have really exited Shardak Rob Kim because the pivot low is still rising and the trend is still up, right? So overall, um, for that reason, you should be focusing on the weekly charts. As I also said, it is free from the noise. I mean, by noise, I mean in daily charts, you have too much ups and downs. And if you look at charts every day, you're going to go mad. You will literally sell off your stock with 20, 30% returns. So it's free from noise and you don't have to really focus on daily charts. And next point is you don't have to have really any stress because you can focus on your job, you can focus on your family, you can focus on your business and you just check your charts at the end of the week. You do not check your charts in the middle of the week. It's okay to check your prices, but not dive into too much as to how much profits you've been making. Let the weekend come and then you can check your charts, spend some couple of hours, and then you can also don't have to really fret. During your weekdays, you can get a good night's sleep because you don't, you're not really worried about the day-to-day -day movements, right? And the last is, as I said, a kid also can understand this. So it's easy to ride and easy to trade an uptrend when you're focused on the weekly charts and um, it's very difficult if you're focusing on daily charts or hourly charts or four hour charts, just too much of noise and too much of stress. Okay. So the next biggest point or the reason that you have to focus on weekly charts is this point here. The probability of catching a multi-bagger or holding on a multi-bagger increases manifold. Right? Now, let's say you bought Shadda Crop Kim when it crossed 330 here, you're already sitting at a good, you know, profits here, almost 220 points, right? 230 points of profits here already. Now that process might probably take a long time you have to go through drawdowns but overall you'd be able to catch multi-baggers next in probably if you're holding a stock for three to five years and if the company is really good you might end up catching multi-baggers at least a few multi-baggers in portfolio let's say 10 stocks probably you'll have at least three to four stocks or two to three stocks multi-baggers right so since you're trading on weekly charts you might have ending up a few multi-baggers in a year and even with the low success rate now this is very important to understand let's say you have 10 stocks if you have three multi-baggers let's say each three, all three of them have 100% returns and the remaining seven, you had a stop loss 20% and you just took out 20%, you will still end up making money. So even with a small success rate, even with a 30 to 40% success rate, you would be able to catch multi-baggers if you are focused on strong companies and if you're focused on weekly chart. Now this, if you can try and if you can implement this in a two to three years time frame with few, let's say 10 stocks out of which at least two will turn out to be multi-baggers. So that's 
the key point that you have to take out from this entire video today. And long term uptrends can last from several months to years. So which means you'll be holding some stocks in for five years, some stocks for 10 years. Now, if you can focus on the monthly frames, you will even catch much bigger multi baggers, right? So in this case, if you see this uptrend started somewhere in uh, 2021 of March, and this stock would still be in your portfolio, and you'd be still sitting on decent gains here, right? And uh, the next point is transaction costs are hardly there. What do you mean transaction costs? When you buy and sell, you have to also pay uh, broker charges for your broker, for the government, all of this. So these charges will not be very high like an FNO trader or like a swing trader. You'd be paying less charges, which means you probably take out more gains and that gains is for you and not for the brokerage or the government. And you will never over trade. Now that's the biggest fear of any trader. And you will not be over trading if you focus on weekly charts. You'll probably take one trade in every few months and that's going to keep your mind very stable and you'll have a good night's sleep and you can enjoy your time with your family or your business, okay? And especially if you're working full-time, then this is the best time frame for you to focus on. So I am a full-time, um, I have full-time job, so I do work full-time, but I do focus on daily because I do have the time in the evening, so I do not really focus completely on weekly charts. Uh, I do focus on daily full-time, but if you are full-time, if you're working full-time and if you don't have the time, this is the best time frame for you. Focus on weekly charts, entry only on Fridays or Mondays, and exits are going to be on Fridays or Mondays. So that's simple as that. You do not have to worry too much about your positions while you're at work. You can focus fully on your job and you can excel there. Plus your portfolio would also excel if you give it the room it needs. Uh, and you need to look at charts only during weekend. You don't have to stress yourself daily. Everybody is point, I've repeated these points already and you get to spend more time with your family. So overall, if you do have questions around why weekly charts, do DM me on Twitter or YouTube. Let me know in the comments. I will help you answer those questions. So. I'm not an investor, but I'm a positional trader, right? So like me, if you're a positional trader, then still you should focus on weekly charts for scanning uh, for the reasons I mentioned below, uh, mentioned previously, but your entries and exits should be on daily. Now, reason why I say positional trading, you have to exit, focus on daily charts is because you don't, do not want to give up too much of your gains in one week, right? So weekly charts, end of week. So you might lose some gains in five days. Now, let's say markets start cracking on Monday. By Friday, you might be a good, you might be, probably down 10 or 20 percent if the markets are very bad. So you might want to focus on daily charts for entries and exits and you can take decisions on closing basis by end of the day if you do not have time, right? And write trends on daily charts until they last. So that's a simple tip for positional traders. What if you're a swing trader? Then you have to focus on weekly charts for scanning and for entries you focus on daily charts or four hour charts or one hour charts and you exit based on RR. So what is RR? If you have a risk of 10 percent, you exit on 20 percent or 30 percent, not more than that. I also did a separate masterclass on swing trading. So do check that video out for detailed, um, you know, strategies and discussions around swing trading. I've explained a lot of points there. You might want to take a look at that as well. So that's it for today. It's a very short video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you do have questions, do let me know on Twitter or on YouTube comments and I'll help you answer them. Uh, but remember, this is very, very important. And this is where most of us make mistakes. So you do get this right. And it's important to get this right, at least in the next few months. So yeah, that's it for today. I'm going to be here. Take care, stay safe and trade safe. Until I see you in another video. Bye-bye.